I'm back with another transparent watercolor. This is a 7 by 10 inch painting of a Malachite butterfly. I got photo reference for these paintings at the Hershey Gardens Butterfly House in Pennsylvania. I went there with my family and we took a ton of photos of all sorts of beautiful specimens and I came back inspired to paint some butterflies. So I did the sketch in my sketchbook um, from photos that I had taken and then transferred that to the paper. I did forget to start the camera running um, when I did the background wash. You can just kind of see it just jump in and have the green already on there. But while the paper was wet, I started bringing in some other colors that were all pre-mixed. You don't want to be mixing the colors of your wash as you're going. And so I have all my colors pre-mixed and then bring them into the page. Most of this was done with the number six round brush after the initial wash. I did that with a one inch flat. Um, and I switched from the wells of paint that I used for the background to the butcher's tray for doing the details of the leaf in the foreground. And you'll see that I'll periodically hit this with a hair dryer if I want to lock in the colors. Um, otherwise I'll keep portions of it wet and let it mix on the page. And it depends what I'm trying to do. And you can see my photo reference in the background. I thought it was a little overly modeled in the background. So I kind of wanted to control where some of those white hot spots were and eliminate them actually. So I basically reduced that in the background but left it with a pattern and then started doing the, the leaf in the foreground. I also, you can see the photo reference on the left, I didn't like the way the branch was coming behind the, the butterfly. So a lot of it was kind of taking the image you had and trying to fix the things you didn't like and bring in some other elements that you did. I think this also lets you see how much time you spend on the background that you, it, you think of it as a butterfly painting, but really to make it convincing, I think you have to have a really rich background in which this uh, creature lived. So I'd switch to a number two round brush here for some of the smaller details on the top of the leaf. And then once I was happy with the background, I peeled off my frisket and started transferring over the, the sketch of the actual butterfly. Since it had been about, I think it was 17, 18 years since I painted a butterfly, I forgot how long these things take. There's a lot of detail on these. Um, and I'm used to doing birds and insects, but the, the butterflies are difficult because they're covered with all these tiny little scales and they have intricate patterns that you've got to be uh, accurate to and one of the other things is the venation the veins going through the the wings are very specific to that uh, type of butterfly so you, there's a lot of things you have to be truthful to to make it look right in the end um, which makes it a fun challenge but it, it also makes them take a lot longer than I remembered it's a slow painting one of the things that was cool was there's a subtle shift from these yellowy greens to these kind of um, aqua blues in the uh, the wings of the lighter parts of the butterfly that were a challenge to have those transitions look right and in the end to make them look like they were made of tiny little scales because the uh, these butterflies are just covered with thousands upon thousands of tiny little um, scales that make up the patterns on them so to have it look like it's made out of those is uh, it's difficult it's fun but it's difficult the other thing that makes it hard is that there are these little isolated areas of color which have very crisp delineated lines 
So in order to have those not run into each other in watercolor, you've got to be, got to plan ahead and work slowly. I don't think there's a fast way to do this and get the detail, but I may be wrong. There you can get a glimpse at the photo reference at the top with those subtle greens and the little windows on the wings. They're, they're beautiful creatures, but not easy to paint. I did make sure I kept my glove on for most of this painting because those dark greens do like to transfer on your hand. One of the things I tend to do is do lots of tiny little passes of color, which builds up the scale-like look of the painting, of the of the wings. Um, you know, I think some people, I think I think it would be a temptation to go immediately into those darker oranges and uh, the darkest parts of the greens, and by doing it in the many little layers, it gives it that scale-like appearance because you're applying it in the, that kind of direction. And building up the layers makes it look more like the texture that it is. You could do it quicker, but I think you'd lose some of that feel of the, the scaly texture on the wings. I probably also could be faster doing this had I done more butterflies in the past 20 years. <laughs> that definitely slowed me down because it was like, um, what do I do now? Which part should I work on? I think if you're doing these day in and day out, you'd be a lot faster at it. Um, you know, birds I've got down pretty well and, you know, some of the shiny insects I can go pretty quickly, but this, uh, particular challenge did slow me down a bit. I did a second, um, butterfly painting after this one, which did go more quickly, but it was still slow. And you can see for a lot of this, I switched to, uh, for the little details on the uh, proboscis and the eye, I did switch to a 10 watt brush. You can see here that it's starting to get that texture of the of the scales on the wings and you're starting to get a little bit more dimension where we feel like the hind wing is behind you know the the difference between the hind wing and the forewing you have a little bit of that shadow mm -hmm. and building that depth in the uh, the critter the other thing that's interesting is that with with some of the butterfly species, it looks like they have four legs. And they're insects, they've got to have six. So they, if you look behind the eye, up next to the body, they have their one of their legs, that I think is their front leg, pulled up tight up next to the body. So they do have six legs, it just looks like they have four. So at this point in the painting, I was doing a lot of little tiny uh, hatching, kind of just putting little scale-like strokes to build some of that depth and make it look more scaly. Um, 
and it was a lot of tiny little washes of, or glazes of color throughout this, just repeatedly going through and through and through, and um, all those little layers paid off because it did look cool in the end, but it just, uh, it's slow going. So at this point, I was pretty much finished. Just picking out the last few details and crisping up some edges here and there and um, putting the signature on and calling it done. So there you go, a 10 by 7 inch painting of a malachite butterfly in transparent watercolor. I hope you enjoyed it. If you get a chance, leave a comment or visit the blog or the website.